I want you to pause the video and read this problem well. Let's go through this example together. It says that a quiz has 10 questions and is worth 50 points. At this point, do not assume that each question will be worth 5 points. We don't know about the weightage of each question yet. The next line is very important. It says that the test consists of two types of questions. Multiple choice questions and fill in the blanks questions. Have we been told how many of each type we have in the quiz? Nope, but we've been given how many marks you get for each question we answer correctly. If we answer an MCQ question correctly, we get 3 points and if we answer a fill in the blanks question correctly, we get 8 points. And what is that we've been asked for? The number of MCQs on the test. So let the number of MCQs on the test be M and the number of FIBs on the test be F. We've been asked to find the value of M. Let's break the information down. What does the first line tell us? The quiz has 10 questions in total. What will that mean in terms of M and F? Come on, you should be able to answer this. It tells us that M plus F will equal 10. Sum of MCQs and FIBs will equal 10. Because these are the only two types of questions in the quiz. Next, it tells us that the maximum points you can score in the quiz is 50. And the weightage of each MCQ is 3 points and that of each FIB question is 8 points. Can you frame an equation with this data? Try it. The maximum marks you can get with MCQs is 3 times M and the maximum marks you can get with FIBs is 8 times F. So the equation which explains this part is 3M plus 8F equals 50. These are the two linear equations we formed based on the data provided in the question. M plus F equals 10 and 3M plus 8F equals 50. How do we solve this? None of the coefficients are the same which means we cannot add or subtract directly. We need to modify the equations to make the coefficients of one of the variables same. As we've been asked for the value of m, let's make the coefficients of f same. So we multiply the first equation with 8 to get this. Let this be the third equation. To eliminate f, we can subtract the second equation from the third one. 8m minus 3m plus 8f minus 8f equals 80 minus 50. We get 5m as 30 and that gives us the value of m as 6. There are 6 MCQs on the test. And if there are 6 MCQs, the remaining 4 will be FIB questions. The only trick you need to use with word problem is breaking it down word by word.